Night Fights presented by Miller High Life from Chester, West Virginia, the Viper against El Dandy. Augusta native Vernon Forrest has 32 wins as a pro and 25 knockouts. He is the IBF welterweight champion of the world, but for the 30-year-old Forrest, it has been a long, arduous trip to the world title. He finally got his shot in August of last year against Raul Frank. They were squaring off for the vacant IBF crown. In round number three, an accidental clash of heads Frank suffered a bad cut on the forehead, and this bout was ruled a no contest. So Vernon Forrest would have to wait even longer. But he'd finally get his shot on May the 12th, and he would dominate Raul Frank over 12 rounds to win the IBF crown. So Vernon finally had his title. When they said, finally saying in the new world champion, you know, Vernon Forrest, I mean, it just, I mean, everything that I had worked for in my whole entire life, it just, it just, I just appreciated, you know, all the, you know, all the times that I had, you know, walk, ride, or drove, or crawl to the gym, and all the hours and hours and hours that I had put in the gym, it just, everything just, you know, just came to the forefront, and just, I just appreciated all that, you know, everything that I had worked for, you know, I, I, I saw everything, I, I, I finally got the fruits of my labor right then and there, it was just amazing. Vernon has his glory, and tonight he gets Edgar Ruiz, who has 18 wins and 11 knockouts. We've seen him on Friday nights before, losing to Corey Spink, losing to Danny Perez on Tuesday night fight. Vernon Forrest, though, is thinking of bigger things, like a showdown with Sugar Shane Mosley. Supposedly, there were negotiations, and Forrest has been made to look like the bad guy. He explains his side. Kushner made his original offer, his mission offer was, was uh, 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 I think it was 1.2 or 1.4 million dollars or something like that. You know, which is uh, his original offer. So we, that's your offer, okay? We come back with our kind of And uh, they come back with another offer. They haven't came back with another offer. The only thing he said was, I made him an offer. He turned that offer down. How you gonna turn down 1.4 million dollars? I can't. I'm not. I'm not in. I'm not in a position to turn down that kind of money. So no, I did not turn down that kind of money. Vernon has a parting shot for Cedric Kushner. Cedric, I wish you stopped playing games with me. You keep trying to make me look bad. You want, if you want to put your boy up, you say your boy is the best fighter in the world. You say he's pound for pound the best fighter in the world. Stop playing games. Put, put your boy up. Put your money behind. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your boy in the ring, and we'll do it. Forrest is confident a Mosley deal will get done. So why is he fighting Edgar Ruiz? I want to keep busy. You know. I'm a fighter, uh, you know, uh, I've been out for a while in, in trying to win the world title, so I want to keep busy. I, I don't want to sit around and wait on anybody. I want to keep busy. Uh, we're going to fight this fight. Uh, we'll come back, uh, you know, a month or two, fight another fight, and we're going to keep fighting. U.S. Olympian Vernon Forrest, the reigning IBF welterweight champion, fighting in a non-title bout tonight against 28-year-old Edgar Ruiz of Los Mochis, Mexico, also an Olympian from 1992, the strategy of his Atlas's world. Tonight, Vernon Forrest looks to exhibit his wares against the game, yet overmatched Edgar Ruiz. The pair to a Forrest victory should look like this. Draw and counter. Vernon should try to draw the shorter Ruiz in by stepping back and then countering with uppercuts. Be short and crisp. Ruiz has a tendency to throw wide hooks. Forrest should take advantage of these openings with short, crisp punches as he does here. And finally, timing with the right. Ruiz is fairly predictable and comes straight at you. Vernon can time Ruiz's attack and catch him with straight right hand. For Edgar Ruiz to blaze a path through the forest, it's more a case of what he shouldn't do. Don't reach. Edgar can reach him with punches like this, or he'll walk into a forest counter right hand or a left hook. No lazy jabs. Ruiz must snap his jab, not push it out as we see here, or once again, he'll get caught with counter punches. And he can't leave. Ruiz must make Forrest come to him so that he can counter and then get out. He must box and move. If he tries to walk in or just stay in front, he'll get lost in the forest.
There is Edgar Ruiz. We saw him on Tuesday Night Fights get stopped by Danny Perez. Cut on the left eye. We saw him against Corey Spinks on Friday Night Fights. Lose a 10-round decision. Cut left eye. July of 99. Stopped by David Kamau. Cut left eye. And you get a look over that left eyebrow. It stopped moving. And you can get a look at where that cut is. And, uh... I would have to guess that that thing is going to open up. Vernon yeah. Forrest, coming off the win against Raul Frank, had the win against Vince Phillips. We saw him on Friday Night Fights against Santiago San Diego in August of 99. 76% for his opponent. And the referee is Dave Johnson once again. West Virginia rules for this non-title fight. Every knockdown rule is in effect so is the standing eight count Ryder can be stable the bell in the final round only the referee can stop it accidental fouls they'll go to the scorecards after three rounds are complete so we are underway round number one Bart and edgar ruiz told us he was going to try to surprise Sparks. Figures he has to get a knockout to win the fight. And to get inside. The Ruiz does not, does not have a deep enough battle uphill here. He came in the heaviest of his career, 154 and a half pounds. And this fight had to take weight off drop down to 151 and a half. Well, and he had the bad shot on June 19th, so that's just a little over two months ago. And as far as quick hands in that jab, could be problematic for Ruiz. Right now, Ruiz trying to buy some time. He's a much more talented fighter in front of the world champion, Bernard Forrest. Ruiz using those legs. Not doing what he usually does, Pop, which is come forward. He's trying to make an adjustment, Ruiz. Knows that he does not have the wherewithal to come forward and challenge Ernest Forrest. Now, physically.